But we begin with the murder charges and the death of a popular Metro Detroit hairstylist. Good evening, I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Thank you for joining us tonight. 24-year-old Jimmy Pickett was arraigned on first-degree murder. 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz was in the courtroom today. So, Jen, what are we learning about the suspect and a possible motive here? Well, Dave Glenda, the suspect's attorney said in court today that he works as a security guard and supports his two kids and asked the judge this afternoon for bond. However, the judge responded saying no, and due to the serious nature of this crime, Pickett will be remanded to the Wayne County Jail. Meanwhile, Detroit police still piecing together how this all happened. I don't want to get into um, that at this point. Detroit Police Chief James Craig not saying much about a possible motive for the killing of renowned hairstylist Bashar Calibut. Investigators say Calibut may have met this man, 24-year-old Jimmy Pickett, on a dating app and reportedly paid for his ride share to the Jay-Z Motel on the east side Tuesday night. Motel staff found Calibut's body in the room when he didn't check out. He died from blunt force trauma to the head. Pickett showed little emotion Friday when he was arraigned for first-degree murder. Police say he was seen on a green light camera leaving the motel room where Calibid was killed. Uh, certainly our investigators leaving no stone unturned. Great bit of police work coupled with technology. Prosecutors say Pickett, currently on probation for an unarmed robbery involving a beating, also robbed Calibit. This case has law enforcement reminding people of the importance of online safety when it comes to using dating apps, even doing minor background checks on the person you're meeting. You can type the phone number in Google. Maybe you get a hit, maybe you don't. There's many things you can do on the social media sites just with the phone number. Calibit, who ran a salon in Birmingham, has been featured for his work in Vogue and Allure. He leaves behind a son. If convicted, Pickett could face life behind bars. Now this case returns to court February 28th for a probable cause hearing again. Pickett remaining in custody tonight. Reporting live from the 36th District Court, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Jen, thank you for the live report.